everyone and you're so much welcome to today's tutorial and i still remain your most wealthy show making made easy tutor oduroli mojibola today i'm going to be showing us how to create this beautiful interlock by the side of the sander you have on the screen as long as you already know how to create the back pattern then you can actually use that back pattern to create this i'm sure you want to know how before i go into that i need you to subscribe to my channel i need you to press the notification bell so that each time I upload a video, you will be notified. Congratulations to everyone who have maximized the price slash on all of my courses in celebration of our 10,000 subscribers. If you haven't done that, you can still do that between today and tomorrow because the price slash ends on the 30th November 2022. All courses goes for 2500 which is also which is if you're in another country you'll be paying five dollar equivalent sit back i'll be wrong back yes i'm back now considering the design you have on the screen i'm going to be making use of this particular back pattern i've taught us how to create back pattern so please go to the comment section and go and check how to create that so that is what we are going to be using for our creation what you have at the top part as in as your tongue is just um, a strap and um, I think the major work as far as this particular design is concerned is just that back pattern the side the way the side look like and um, I believe we can actually work on this to achieve that same look so what we are going to be doing first of all is we are going to be folding as usual we are going to fold as usual and then um, see how we can actually work on that together So I'm going to also fold this one. This particular side, I would love to trim it off. Don't mind me, but I need to show you this. You can actually use this design like this. What it means is that you are going to actually attach your strap in between, then line it, then stitch all around. If you don't intend to stitch, all you need to do is just use your rivet to stitch down your lined strap that you intend to attach. And the other side, of course, can also be free. You can also trim this off and you will use a strap to attach your buckle to this particular side. So I think that's just basically, if it looks like this, it can also work. So I'm going to try to also make this one look like that. Let me see what I can do see I'm trying to place it to fix it right in there so you can see what this look like now the major part of this design is this place that is the major part as far as I'm concerned that's the major part so whatever you want it to look like it is what you whatever you, you do here is what will determine what it will look like knowing fully well that this one is not even as wide as this so first of all, let's try to reduce all of the width. I think our initial width was about 2 cm. So let's reduce it to about 1 cm or 1.5. I think 1 cm is what I'm going to do. Let's see what 1 cm looks like. If you think this is too small, you can make it wider. It's fine. But... I just want us to work with the with what our design looks like so i think this one should be extended a bit more maybe like 1.2 i just didn't want it to be too wide so probably i'm going to just make it 1.5 because this is really looking very tiny it's really looking very tiny but even as at that it doesn't have to do with any other thing so what we're going to be looking at is this particular angle this particular angle so let me show us what we are going to be doing to that so the first thing I want us to do is this particular point, this side, we are going to tilt it inside. We are going to tilt it inwards. So we are going to tilt like, um, let's say, 1.5 centimeter inwards. This is what I mean. You see, I've already measured from this side to this side, 1.5. So I'm going to come to this side. I'm going to pick up this one. You know that it's like this. I really need us to see this. This is the way it is positioned on it. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to hold this side down. I'm going to hold this one down and try to just tilt this one please, and tilt this one downwards like this. I don't know if you are getting what I'm trying to say. 
so from what i have here you can see if i place it like this i don't think it's this side let me see is it this side uh -huh. good so it is this particular one so i will hold this place down this side and see how i can tilt this like this can you see that's been tilted so from that tilt from that tilting you are going to recreate another shape at that corner now starting from where it touches this let it come down like this so you will allow it to join with this can you see what it looks like let me quickly cut it so that you can see what the shape looks like Can you see what the angle looks like so from here i can now decide to extend all around this and then um, let's let me extend so that we can see what it looks like so this is already one one so i'm just going to start my extension from this particular side since this side is already one this side i'm going to adjust it to one one you can make yours more than one, please. This is just to show us what we can do to that design, to the back pattern. So this time around, I'm going to... It went like this and went like this. It went like this. So let's see what that looks like. Now you can see what it looks like. So from what I have here, I already duplicated it. All I did was just duplicated the two of them. As in duplicated the other one that I had. This was the previous one. So looking at it this way, if this is going to go right like this, if this is going to go right like this, for example, this particular one interlocks in right here as it interlocks this one is going to be the straight part the straight one that the buckle will be suspended in so i don't need this one at all i don't need to, it to have this so i'm just going to say okay let's say the strap is going to hang somewhere here so that is the strap for that particular one so the one coming from this side is going to be a very long one that will be carrying the buckle So this one is suspended here. So this particular one is going to be carrying the buckle. So I'm just going to cut it off here. Or you create another one and extend it. So but let me just cut. So this one will have the buckle suspended here. And it will be entering into this particular one. And that's how that particular design looks like. all right now i believe you should be able to create this for yourself if you don't know how to create a back pattern go right in the comment section right now and go and see the link i will be putting there i have already taught on how to create back patterns on this channel both for adults and children so go ahead and do some catch up you can follow the same process both for children and for adults as far as this design is concerned if this is actually a, a, a tip of what i taught in the november week weekend class so if you would like to be part of our weekend class it's a free weekend class we have classes on fridays and on saturdays but it comes with a commitment fee of 1500 naira with the equivalence of five dollars for anyone who love to join bye